What's up YouTube? Today we are working out how to find a missing angle using Sokotoa. The good news is, is if you know how to find a missing side, you have already done all of the hard work. If you got through my Sokotoa video on finding a missing side, which was a really, really, really tricky video, and good on you if you were able to do that, you're going to find this nice and easy. You've put the hard work in, so this is fine now. Same as normal. Is this a right angle triangle? Yes. So let's label our triangle. Well, we have got opposite the right angle here, our hypotenuse opposite, our angle, our opposite, and then adjacent. What does this question involve? Well, it involves opposite because there's a one and hypotenuse because there's a two. So it's going to be soft because it involves opposite and hypotenuse. So it's soft. We write out soft, light the triangle, create the triangle. Um, then what we do is we do, we're looking for the angle, so we're looking for sine angle, and we do O over H, so 1 over 2, so sine, and then the angle, X equals 1 over 2. The question wasn't tell me what sine X is, the question was tell me what X is, and when it's a little life hack, it's going to be a piece of cake, so... So if you end up in this situation, this little life hack will see you through. Sine x equals two thirds. Well, above the sign or next to the sign, you should see it says sine to the minus one. If you have a look at your calculator, you'll see a button that says sine to the minus one. Press shift, sign. That's usually how it works and you'll be able to get it. Sine x equals two thirds. So we're going to do sine to the minus one, sine x equals two thirds, sine to the minus one, two thirds. Whatever sine x equals, do sine to the minus 1 of that. So there we go, that's what sine is. Cos x equals 1 third. So same idea, cos to the minus 1. Cos x equals 1 third, cos to the minus 1, 1 third. Sorry about how out of shot it is. And that's what cos x is. Tan x equals 0 0.1. So we're going to do shift tan, tan to the minus 1, tan x equals 0 0.1. So tan to the minus one, 0 0.1. And that's how we do it, 5.71. Let's go back to this question here. Sine x equals a half. I don't want sine x, I want to know what x is. So in order to do that, I'm going to do sine to the minus one, a half, and we'll get our answer. So shift sine, a half, 30. So our angle here, 30. And that's all we have to do. I'm gonna do one more quick example now. Okay, so first step, is it right angled? Yes, it is, which means let's start labeling it. There's our arrow pointing towards our H. There's our angle, so this is opposite our angle. That's the final one, so it's A. We're now looking, what does our question involve? It involves O, because that's 15, and A, because that's 30. It involves O and A. Which one's opposite and adjacent? Well, that one involves hypotenuse, it's not that one. That one's A and H, it's not that one. That one's O and A, it's that one. So now we're going to do our triangle, T, O, A. So we are looking, we've got O, we've got A. So it's going to be 15 over 30, and that equals tan angle, which is tan X. So tan X equals 15 over 30. It doesn't ask us what tan x is, it asks us what x is. So to fix this, tan to the minus 1, 15 over 30. Oopsie daisy, 15 over 30. And our answer, 26.5, let's leave it as 565. So our angle here, 26.565 degrees. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's how we find missing angles with that one really simple life hack. If it's tan x equals 15 over 30, tan to the minus one, 15 over 30. Whatever is on the other side, just do tan to the minus one or cos to the minus one or sine to the minus one.